What's going on YouTube? Mike Gibby here, welcoming you back. Oh yes, we are back, finally, one week later to episode number two, our first real adventuring episode here in Pokemon Solar Light Nuzlocke Challenge here on the channel. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to get back into this game. Now, before we get everything rocking and rolling, rag and rolla ing not in this game, but uh, I wanna just talk about just a few quick things real quick. Two quick shout outs. So the first one is going to be to Bolt Manectric, Henry151 at Bolt Manectric um, on Twitter. Make sure you go check him out on Twitter. Follow him if that is what you like to do. But he is the one who did all of the graphics for us. Um, he did the layout, did the thumbnail, did the uh, lettering, the numbering, all that. So thank you so much for that. It looks amazing. It's it's different than what I've done and I love it. I love it that it's 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 a breath of fresh air and a breath of fresh air kind of game. Uh, also, I want to give a shout out to Water Trainer, who is the creator of this game or one of the creators of this game. I don't know the correct terminology, the head creator? head he creates heads anyways um it looks amazing so far and i'm really excited to play your game so where we left off last time we were here in the professor's lab professor birchwood uh pinewood professor pinewood not birchwood um and we were given the choice between three pokemon herivore uh herivore herivore like herbivore perlet and salatad and i left it up to you guys to vote and the voting was close. It was so close. One vote could have swung it. In third place, we had Harivor, Harivor, with five votes. In second place, we had Perlet with eight votes. See, that was the one vote because Salat had 31 votes. Ridiculous. You guys spoke. I'm gonna listen. To be honest, this is the one I kinda wanted to choose. Let me make sure I'm actually clicked onto my screen so I can move. And that is who we're gonna be rocking out with in our Let's Play. So, I believe it's over here. Would you like to pick Salatad? We obtained Salatad. Yes, we have to give a nickname because that is part of our Nuzlocke rules. And uh, Subscriber was kind enough to give us a nickname for it, which I love because it looks so derpy. And its name is Dipley. I love that name, Dipley. It's so funny. Um, so let's see what, what, um, what, uh, I'm Batman. Ah, oh, excellent choice, Mikey B. I'm sure that you and your Pokemon will grow to be good friends. Now, it's your turn, Rodney. So, Rodney, I'll choose this one. I'm sure that you picked Herivore. Ah, uh, that Pokemon suits you well, Rodney. Now, let I have something for you. Probably a Pokedex? Pokedex, so now all we need is the Pokeballs before our Nuzlocke starts. Remember, if we lose this first battle, which I'm assuming we're going to have, doesn't count because we have not had the opportunity to capture our next Pokemon. This is a Pokedex. It records all Pokemon you see and capture. It will help you help me in my studies on where Pokemon live and what they like. Thanks, Professor Pinewood. I'm so happy right now. This is awesome. I'm going to go and start my journey. Maybe we're not having a battle. He sure is an excellent little guy. I'm sure he'll have lots of fun along his journey. That Pokemon was left. That the Pokemon's left are meant for a trainer named Kyra, who lives in Mossy Town. But it seems like she might have uh, forgotten to come get it. Could you do me a favor? Could you go to Mossy Town and tell her to come get her Pokemon while it's waiting for her? Yes, excellent. I will see you later. Um, will you give us some? Um Professor Pinewood is one of the best well-known professors in the world. He's a good friend of Professor Oak of the Kanto region. So, maybe we can go to Kanto in this game. Um, hey, Mikey B, wait just a second. Take these with you. We got some potions, so my boy is hooking it up. We got the potions in the bag. Now enjoy your journey. I'm going to go enjoy my journey. Is this my dad and Rodney? Okay, Rodney's going to want to battle me. I knew it. I knew it. I could sense it. Mikey B, I was so excited. I almost forgot. How about our first battle? We each, um... Um, something awesome, we're both new to battling, but I'm sure this is going to be something I can't read fast enough, I'm too excited to battle Rodney with his long hair in the front, got a backwards mullet, W-T-H, um, so Dipley is here, I don't got my Charmander mug, I got my fancy mug, so hold on, hold on, hold on, let me, uh, I can't, I don't know if I can do this, get my pinky out here because I'm fancy, so look at little Dipley, let's see, Let's see what we got. Pound and growl. Um, so, I'm just gonna pound it up. It does a little bit. Ooh, my gosh, that thing's. Here's what we're gonna do we're gonna use the strats, we're gonna use a potion. I want this win. There's the tackle. That did. So, it did five and then it did three. So, this will do three again. Let's go again. Is that Charmander's Roar? Let's see, no crit. Okay, two, so now let's go to our bag. There's our, oh, I only have one potion. Uh, so let's 
Let's ta pound here. Don't crit me. I mean, if I get crit, I deserve to lose. So let's go ahead and we'll just do that. Here's the tackle. We can take one more. And then we'll potion up. Nice. Perfect. So now we'll potion. And we'll be able to get, uh, hopefully, at least a level or a level and a half off of this. So Dipley's HP was restored. Look at little Dipley there. Oh my gosh, I love this Pokemon so much already. Uh, should take about two more. Maybe if I can get a crit. Nope, one more and we'll be able to seal up this battle. There's no battle animation. Well, I guess this is just pound, so it's just... It we'll pound it up. So there's 43 experience. Almost enough to grow us a level. Well, we are starting... Uh, well, we are starting out after all, but I enjoyed it. I almost gave him Henry's voice. Oh man, I can tell you're going to be a tough rival. That was a great battle. Let me heal your Pokemon. Wait a second. On the west end of Sultry Town lies Route 1. There are wild Pokemon, so be careful. I'm heading towards Serpentine City. I'm guessing it's a grass town. There's a gym there. Wait, you don't know about gyms. It's a place where a special battle with... Uh, where you battle a special trainer, and if you win, you get a badge. If you get eight badges, you can enter the Pokemon League where you face off against strongest trainers, maybe even the Elite Four. I'm a huge fan of the Elite Four. I dream of being one one day. That's good, because you ain't going to be champion. Um, well, I'll see you in Serpentine. Nice. So let's take a look. Uh, how do we... Okay, there's our bat. Let's take a look um, at stats. I don't know if this is a physical special attacker. Quirky natured. Um, quirky is special defense? Maybe, but we, it looks like we're a physical attacker, so that's cool. Very close, maybe mixed. Um, so let's see, let's do some exploring in the town. Soul Tree is such a beautiful place in Rakodo, but my friends say they're from more interesting cities. There are more interesting cities in this region. Um, I can't run just yet. I'm assuming I'll get the running shoes from my mama. Let's go explore the town a little bit now that we actually have the opportunity. Um, so, like I mentioned in the first episode, I wanted to kind of make the. Um, Make the, uh, can't go up into Rodney's room. Okay, uh, make the questions of the day something that we can kind of talk about together. Now this is going to have, I, um, this is a question that I kind of just thought of, like, almost immediately after I posted the first video, was, um, um, it's gonna be two, two-sided, okay? So, immediately after I see a bunch of people who have commented that who I haven't talked to in a while, or I haven't talked to at all, which is really cool. And that, the question of the day is going to be, what, ooh, here's route one. What was down to the south though? Um, what is your favorite part of a new Let's Play? For me, it's to interact with you guys. And like I said, people I haven't talked to in a long time. A lot of times people get, find series that get stale and uh, they stop watching, which is fine, no big deal. Um, or new people who find that the new series is the best time to start interacting on the channel. And I love that. So if you guys are are ever thinking about commenting please do I try to reply to as much as I can I hope that uh, my subscribers would attest to that so route one we don't have any pokeballs yet um, and I don't really want to see what I could get until Oh, I guess I have to uh, maybe I won't run into anything nice I want to get um da -da 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 -da. maybe I should grow a level uh, maybe I should grow a level before I fight trainers huh what do you think uh, I guess let's battle him. Oh, no trainer. What do you have to say? Hey, do you know the kind of tree to my left? It's a headbutt tree. If one of your Pokemon knows Treadbread, you set up the tree and probably wild Pokemon will fall down and attack you. Uh, nobody knows po uh, headbutt. Sorry, bro. S-R-Y-B-R-O. Uh, here we go. So this is this is not our first encounter, but I wouldn't have... Mo Electrator? That's so cool. I would not have mo mound. I would not have mound getting it. Minded getting it. Critical hit, one shot, Dipley with the strength. And we learned Bubble, so awesome. We got some Stab now. Um, this is probably gonna be a trainer though. No. What do you have to say? Hey, are you a new trainer, right? You should take a potion, it'll heal your Pokemon. You stock potions at the Pokemon Center in the Pokemart. So we're heading down here. So yeah, like I said, um, for you guys it's gonna be a lot different. For what, what else? Oh, this is that one that, be that was definitely, was that a, a Goldeen? Doo -doo. I know it's something. Hamstar, I love it, I love it. Uh, so. Bubble stab, so it's gonna be stronger than tackle. It's gonna pound me do three damage, nice and strong. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, it's gonna be different for you guys because mine is interacting with you guys. You guys, you know, it could be something like uh, new Pokemon. It's it's the most interesting building a team before you have anything in a new Let's Play. Uh, what's down here? Oh, we that exploring type in this game. I need running shoes real bad. R L Y B D. Um. 
So yeah, just let me know what you guys like about it. Do you like the new team? Do you like the new game? Do you like the chance to, to nickname Pokemon and choose starters? So this is going to be a quick, uh, quick way to get back to um, our hometown. I'm drawing a blank on the name. So let's see what's in here. This is going to be Mossy Town. So this is where... Uh, uh. Um, is this Clyde? Hey, yo, you're a new trainer, aren't you? Do you know about the building behind me? It's a Pokemon Center. It's a very important building. Come on, I'll show you indoors. So we got Clyde showing us. Follow me, young trainer. On the, on the right side, you see the Pokemon. You can buy lots of stuff like potions and Pokeballs. On the left side, it's the waiting area where trainers wait. Hence the name, the waiting area. You can talk to them, give you knowledge about the region. Maybe they'll trade you something. And the most important place is the Pokemon Center, the healing station. Just give your Pokemon to the nurse behind the counter and she'll heal your Pokemon as fast as you can say, heal your Pokemon. This is the computer where you can send your Pokemon or items to the, another computer. With the Pokemon storage system, the PSS, not Postscript, PSS. You can send your Pokemon to Professor Pinewood. Also, you can send items to your own computer. And this is a new area, it's called the quest floor. There's a lot of pe quest floor? A lot of people here uh, will rest here. There are people who have, who have lost, oh it's all, have a lost, have lost something and need to, someone, they, someone to find it. People who have a gift for someone and other, and need another people to carry. Or, woo! Calm down Mikey, you know how to read. <clears throat> gift for someone and need another people as, and need another, pe another people as a courier or people who want to trade a Pokemon. This is everything I can show you. Have a nice day. So, I'm guessing that's Clyde. Uh, what do you have to say? Hey, I'm a new trainer too. I walked past Route 1 and I saw this beautiful girl. I didn't have to call her, but I wrote her a letter. Could you bring this letter to the girl? Thank you so much. Sweet. So, we got our first quest. Uh, let's go and complete the quest. I traveled a long way from Hoenn. Rather, a rather aquatic area as a tourist. It's uh, tough getting used to the climate here, but... I have to see everything Ricardo has to offer. My next step is Serpentine City through the mossy forest. So that's that. Um, let's heal up right quick, like. I wonder if I can buy Pokeballs yet. Do, 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 do. We have restored your Pokemon to full health. Um, can, I can I buy Pokeballs yet? I can, so our lock has officially begun. Let's go ahead and buy uh, 10 of those. And we get the Premier Ball, nice. Let's buy five of these. Oh, that's all of our money though. Let's buy three potions and one antidote. And we'll save some money. Uh, yeah, so now we can go, we can go get our first encounter. <gasps> do, 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 do. Well, you got a Pokemon, I can't wait to get my own someday. So I'm gonna go get my first Pokemon before I do anything else. Oh, or should I, let's let the suspense build. Let's let it build. Let's head into here. What's in here? Um, pay attention to the status of your Pokemon. If they were, if you kept ill or weak from battle too long, they will gradually become unhappy. Oh, or even faint. Okay, so good thing we bought some uh, uh, antidotes. My mom works at the Pokemon Center. She helps sick Pokemon get better. When I'm old, I want to get another Pokemon journey. I'll be a nurse just like her. Very good to know. So we got a nurse waiting for us in um, Victory Road. Spoiler. Oh, no, I don't want to go there. Okay, uh, is there anything? Nothing over here. Just some flowers. So I'm guessing that, uh, what was her name? What was our other rival's name? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Whoa, this must be her. Whoa, what are you doing here? You can't just walk into other people's houses. What, the door was wide open? Oh, I must have forgotten to lock it. It's fine though, you don't, have, you don't know any better. I mean, at least you weren't looking through my trash or anything. That's a key, I'm gonna get to, give me this, full heal, nice. I love it when there's items in the trash. Most of the houses in Ricotta are open to for everyone. Just a few are locked. Nice, so, um, who are you? Oh, we have a nice peaceful beach here. We are really lucky. Um, you're gonna tell me that I can't go there yet? Sorry to get in the way, but I found some strange footprints, so I'm examining them. Won't be long. So this must be our rival's house. Ooh, who's this? <clears throat> oh, I am so sorry. I'm in a big rush, huh? You're Mikey B. You came to get me? Thank you. I totally knew I forgot something today. Silly me. Well, I'd better get my Pokemon. Oh my goodness. My heart just pitter-pattered a little bit too fast. Hey, Kyra, wait a second. Oh, Mikey B. Surprised I know your name? Well, I'm a good friend of your mom, and she called to let me know you were on your way to tell Ki Kira? Kyra? Kyra. About her Pokemon. I see. She's already gone. I get it. Thank you. But your mother also told me to tell you that she has something for you to so go back home and see what it is. Good luck. So these are the running shoes. I can deliver my letter. 
I'm gonna see if I can skip over um, this battle until the very end of the episode. Oh, I can't, can I? Nope, so we're gonna go ahead and get, I hope I get that little, ele oh, I don't even, I wouldn't even mind. We did it, okay. Um, oh, what's that? A letter from a boy who saw me on the road. Wow, that's so cute. Wait a second, I'll read it. I'll read it out loud. Oh, he wants to meet me at the Pokemon Center in Mossy Town. Thank you so much, I have to go. So I have to go back to Mossy Town now. Okay, so let's see. Are we gonna get our first encounter here? We are. Our very first encounter that we could possibly catch is going to be... What is this? A Bud Cheap? Okay, so neither of the two that we saw looks probably gonna be the flying normal type of the region. Let's go for a pound. We are... Uh, okay, so we can go for another so long as it doesn't crit. Please don't crit. Okay. So we should just be able to toss a Pokeball at it and capture it. Where's my balls? Where my balls at? Where my balls at? Throw it! Throw it! What do we name this thing? Okay, I think I have a name for this. One. Two. We got it. Three. Boom! Give me that Bud Cheap. Bud Cheap. Okay, so it's a little bird and it kind of looks like a bird you might keep in a cage. Uh, the the budgie Pokemon? Bud Cheap are popular pets for girls. See, I knew it was going to pet. They fly around the area and look for the best food possible. So, I've got a name for this thing. I'm going to name it Mitch. Now, the reason I'm going to name it Mitch, because it's a boy, first off. Uh, I had to double check that. I was doing it for myself, not for you guys. But Mitch, um, so as you guys know, I'm a personal trainer, and so the people that I train have a African Grey parrot. I know that's not an African Grey, but it's a bird nonetheless, and it's a pet, and its name is Mitch, and it talks, and it has, uh, so the, the people that I train are Indian, and they have, and Mitch ha can mimic their accent, can mimic my accent. It's really cool. So uh, that's Mitch has joined the party. His latest thing is he's learned how to say, um... Did you sleep well? Did you sleep well? Did you sleep well? It's it's so funny. So anyways, here we are back in, uh, was it Moss Deep City that we're in? Um, so we need to go to our mom's house to get our running shoes so we can move just a teeny tiny tad bit fat. Oh, let's take a look at our, let's take a look at our new Pokemon. Do, do, do. Mitch needs to be healed. So Mitch is normal flying like we thought. Uh, it's a sassy girl. Oh my goodness. So that's going to be increasing the special defense, lowering speed, and big pecs. Uh, protects from defense lowering attacks. Interesting. Okay, so that's cool. And it's just got Peck. So we got we got little Mitch on the team in the squ squad right here. So let's talk to mom. Mikey B, I see you've got my message. Well, your father and I have a gift for you. Running shoes. Hey, just like we thought. Well, I have a gift for you too. This is a pokey gear. Uh, it contains a map of the Rakota region. Uh, a radio for music and a... Uh, cell phone oh, to call other trainers or us. It also contains a badge case, isn't it awful? Well, we get out of here. <coughs> so, now that we can <coughs> run, we can move a lot faster. Um, let's go check out the professor's lab. Is um, Kyra here? Oh, all the Pokemon are gone and so is Kyra. Funny coincidence. So now we can head back to our route and we're gonna head through the forest to try and make it to so There's death. Is he gonna teach us how to catch Pokemon? I've already done it, bro. Oh, oh I'm Batman, Mikey B. Luckily you came back to Sultry. I forgot to give you these. Pokeball! So our journey has officially, officially, officially begun. These will help you capture Pokemon, but you must know this. In order to get a successful capture, you need to be at lower po lower H po lower the Pokemon's HP by battling it. Once it's low enough, throw a Pokeball, and you might be able to capture it. Good luck, Mikey B. I'm going back to my laboratory. Dexters. So, now that we have that, we have that, we have everything. Um... Do, 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 do. We can continue on our journey. Let's head down. We're going to get into a little bit of a battle, though. I should probably train Mitch up a little bit. Um, so we have Hamstar is back in, the t back in the screen. Let's go for... Oh, I didn't heal. I'll heal at the Pokemon Center. I wish there was a speed up. I'm, I'm addicted to speed up buttons. Uh, ooh, this thing's kind of taking me down just a little bit. Defense curl. That's fine. Uh, Hamstar, level 3. This, is probably, this might give me enough experience to go to level, level 7. Nope, not quite. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, let's just keep going. Who do we got? Up? Who do we got here? Who is here? So this is I, uh, that thing looks cool, Electroder. Mm, 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 mm. Let's just. Ro I was gonna say let's just run. Let's lose our starter episode one. That would be great. Um, mm, 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 mm. So we'll heal up in the Pokemon Center. We are probably gonna have to battle Kyra, I would assume. Do, 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 do. 
We restored your Pokemon Hall Health. We hope to see you again. So now we get to head. To, do we get another encounter today? That might be a little mu. Oh, there's Kyra. Hello, Mikey B. Thank you for coming to get me. I can't believe I almost forgot about my getting my first Pokemon. How about we battle? It would be fun, but this is my first trainer battle, so please don't be too hard on me. There's Kyra. Oh my goodness, she looks a lot older than me. So, of course, that's the Charmander. Charmander cry. I think that was. So am I the Squirtle Cry then? Am I just dumb? Am I just really dumb? So this thing's level 7, uh, your first Pokemon battle my butt. But, on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and grow a level from this. And burn me. Nope, we're gonna bubble and that'll be able to take out the Perlet. And we're gonna grow up to level 7. Almost level 8. I enjoyed it! Oh, that was fun! You fought well! Let me heal your Pokemon! Are we gonna get two encounters this episode? Well, I'm headed to to get eight badges so I can compete in the Rakato League. See you around. Uh, do we 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 do we? Uh, there's probably gonna be bug Pokemon in there, so let's switch Mitch out front. That'll be a good place to train Mitch up a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and get it. Oh, mossy forest. Oh, this is such peaceful music. Look at their shadows on the ground. That's really cool. So we've got our first Pokemon trainer battle that isn't our rival. Oh, I bet there's heaps of bug Pokemon around here. Yeah. That was a really cool animation. Uh, bug catcher Shone sends out a... A Sticket? Uh, hello? You are a very high level. String shot. Lower my speed. That's okay. Maybe this thing will be Grass Bug and I'm four times effective. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. It's a two shot. So we have nothing to lose by doing this again. Don't kill me! Don't kill my Mitch! Good. And that should be able to take it out. And this will grow Mitch a couple levels. Look at Mitch's back. Got the little zebra stripes. Oh yeah, that's growing you a couple levels. Learned Growl. Cool. There's five. Can we grow to six? There's six. Mitch is growing so fast. Seven? Mitch is already level seven. Nice. Do, do, do. I love that. I'm going to spend some time in this. It sounds like, like, uh, like, 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 like Lan Lan Ranch or something like that from Zelda. So let's head in here. Let's heal up real quick and we'll head back into the forest. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't want to cut it too short. I don't want to cut it too short. I'm not going to leave you guys hanging like that, even though we've had two rival battles and an encounter in this episode. And we got our first Pokemon, so here we are. Let's head down. Let's see if there's anything in these trees. What's in there? Nothing? Okay, anything in this mossy rock? No, this is a headbutt tree. Okay, so our first encounter here in the mossy forest is going to be a... A Cheepip. So another flying type Pokemon. Um, looks like it might be grass flying. I wonder if I could just toss a Pokeball at it. Wow, we have 15 po Pokeballs. Well, 14 plus the one Premier Ball. Let's see if this will just capture it. One, two, three. No, close though. It's only level four. It's gonna peck me. I'm scared that my peck is gonna be super effective and I really don't wanna, you know, take out one of my encounters already. One, two, three. No, okay. So it's gonna growl, that's fine. Let's go for another Pokeball. Oh, I'm wasting so many Pokeballs though. Mitch might be a little too strong, I don't know. Here we go, okay. One, two, three. No, okay, I have to peck it. I have to peck it. Uh, oh yeah, especially with a negative two attack. We are good to go. So let's go for the, there's the peck on me. It's fa, oh, it, uh, oh yeah, we would have definitely blown that thing out of the water, the metaphorical water. Um, I threw one Pokeball. Can I throw two Pokeballs at the same time? Double capture rate. This thing is not trying to stay in the ball. Don't you dare to... <sighs> I thought we lost Mitch episode one. <sighs> okay, there's that. Cheap it. Hmm. Gonna peck me again. Let's go for... Nope, not potion. Pokeball. Come on, stay in the ball, Cheap it. What would we name this thing? One, two, three. Finally caught the cheap hip. So we've got two flying type Pokemon. I'm assuming unless this thing is just all grass. No, grass flying. So cheap hip travels in big flocks. Sometimes there are so many of them together that they can make a, make a rock face like, rock face look like it's covered in grass. Oh, okay. Rock face. Got it. Okay, okay. Um, so cheap hip, the chirping Pokemon. Uh... Yeah, let's give him a nickname. How many can we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten 
10 letters. Um, we could name this thing, let's name it, um, uh, hmm, what do we name this thing? I'm gonna name it Crew, because it flies around with its crew. Don't know if that's a good name, probably isn't, but we're gonna take it, and I'm actually gonna just probably box Cheap Ip. Um, so let's go through the, okay, we're gonna get into another battle. Let's see who else we could've caught. We could've caught uh, the little ham star again. Uh, now, I guess we could go over a couple of the, kind of the rules of the, this isn't gonna do too much. Defense curl, that's fine. A couple of like the rules of the Nuzlocke, so, um, Oh my, that did not do a lot. We need to switch out because that's kind of silly that we are that far below. Dipley will come out and Dipley will be able to take out this hamstar because for one, we have, ooh, that does five damage. A hamstar is kind of strong. Let's go for the bubble with uh, with Dipley. Uh, we are specially attack, uh, we are specially attacking this hamstar. So we're gonna go ahead and knock it out and gain a little bit of experience here, a little bit there and grow to level eight. No new attacks. Um, let's just keep, uh, there's an item. Let's battle. Can I see you? Can I have a Pokemon battle? Something like that. Uh, uh, just a last Lindsay. Lindsay sends out, ooh, Electroder. That's kind of bad because all of my Pokemon are weak to Electroder. Um, so actually what I'm going to do, oh, Cruz. Crew, what are you, what are you rocking out with? Nauda nature. She's a Nauda girl with that plus attack with Peck and Growl. Um, do I think Electroder has an electric type attack already? Is the thing? I mean, it might. Let's go out to Dipley just in case, because, uh, please don't have Scratch. Okay, so that should be fine. Let's bubble it up. I really hope this thing doesn't have an electric type attack. Tail Whip, that's fine. One more bubble, we'll be able to take this thing out. At least it should. Based on a roll, we do take it out. So, whoo, heart was pounding just a little bit. So, ooh, about to send out Cheap It. Um, 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 um. So we can send out Mitch on that. Yeah, we can send out Mitch because uh, we're super effective against it. Let's pack it up. It's gonna growl me. So th this thing's clearly faster than, than I am. Mm, that would have been a two shot. That shouldn't do, yep, yeah, we can survive another one. And this should be able to, there's the growl, we'll lower our attack, but Mitch is gonna be able to clean up this cheap hip and grow to level eight. So Mitch is getting the experience. And it learned sing, so now I can put Pokemon, jeez, Mitch grows levels fast. Oh, what? So we got some cash moolah, baby. Um, let's see here. So we're already creeping up on 30 minutes. So I think, I think that, ne uh, how much longer? I think it's got a little bit to it. So I think that now is actually the best time to go ahead and cut today's episode. I do want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and sticking with us throughout the duration of the episode. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit that thumbs up to all support that you can for this Let's Play. Um, thank you guys for tuning in to episode two. Uh, I'm excited to get this, 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 this journey on a roll. Next episode, we're going to go to Serpentine City, maybe get our first gym badge. I have no idea what's, what, what lies in wait, I think is the term. But you're going to have to tune in uh, into our next episode to find out exactly what's going on. But now it's all said and done. I'm going to peace out. And I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. See ya.